What the f was that? This is one of those locations that you feel like there's a part of yourself locked here forever now. Oh my God, I am talking to the Joker and it just said camera. It said camera when my light went off. It just called me Chaser. I just heard the scariest sound of my life. Everybody. Welcome to Mayhem in the Midwest. Guys, this is my big trip, my big trilogy returning to YouTube. I am basically going to three of the biggest name locations, haunted locations here in the Midwest in the US. And yes, you're going to see in the video I'm wearing a different outfit because I'm back at Edinburgh Manor today. Just during the day, I just wanted to come back before I head to my next location. And I just love this place so much. This place this is one of those locations that you feel like there's a part of yourself locked here forever now. Like I will constantly be thinking about Edinburgh Manor. And it was a phenomenal night. In this video, you're gonna hear disembodied voices that I caught, footsteps, intelligent communication, and me getting psychologically and physically tormented by whatever lurks in the basement, which is the Joker entity, which is supposedly a malevolent entity that's nine feet tall. So, yeah, stay tuned for that in the video. This video is going to be nuts. Thank you all for watching, and welcome to Mayhem in the Midwest, baby! Let's go! Here we go. Edinburgh Manor. In 1850, the Jones County Poor Farm opened to help the impoverished community in Jones County. It kept the poor, elderly, and mentally and physically disabled. If you were a resident here, you were required to put in work in return for shelter, food, and clothing. The residents were often referred to as inmates, not tenants, not residents, inmates. This poor farm operated from 1850 to 1910 and during that time it's estimated that over 150 of the inmates died while in the building. In 1910 the Jones County Poor Farm was then demolished and replaced with the current building that I'm sitting in right now, Edinburgh Manor. This profound 12,000 plus square foot building was deemed as a massive improvement from its predecessor. It served the county's insane and indigent citizens. All the way until 2010, the manor was mainly an asylum for the insane and a nursing home for the elderly. As society and medicine advanced, it wasn't really needed anymore. Due to these many advances, Edinburgh Manor was officially closed and out of business in 2010. It wasn't purchased by an owner until 2012, so for two years, it served as the infamous haunted abandoned asylum in Iowa. And now to this day, it is known as the most haunted asylum in Iowa and arguably the most haunted asylum in the entire Midwest. That's insane. That history is unreal. The history of this place is super rich, super deep, super intense. And I am sitting in this building all alone tonight, completely alone. It is just me. I'm going to work my best to build a communication with these spirits, to build a connection with these spirits, maybe even learn a little bit more about the history that maybe I don't know. Um, and I just hope they take a warm welcome to me being here. So speaking of the spirits, let's get into the documented and reported hauntings of Edinburgh Manor. This manor is known to host many different spirits, but some stand out more than others. One of the most prominent spirits in the building is that of a 7 to 10 year old girl named Suzanne that goes by the name Susie. She is known to run around the hallways, sing and hum different tunes, and play with the many different toys spread out in the manor. Then, okay, so this next spirit, the history of it gets a little bit fishy. Um, I've read two different things. I'm not 100% sure what this spirit used to be. I don't know if he was just an inmate. I don't know if he was a janitor. The identification of this spirit is still unknown. So this next spirit is that of a janitor or an inmate 
who reportedly hanged himself using a doorknob and a belt in one of the closet sized rooms in the main first floor hallway. People report feeling an oppressive and negative energy when going into the room and feeling more uneasy than ever. I can't imagine the residual energy that is in that room if whoever this man was actually did that. Like that actually breaks my heart for him, for anybody that could have been affected by it. And I just can't imagine what could have made him take those steps to just leave this place in the most disturbing and self-harming way possible. Whew, I feel so sorry for him. Oh my gosh. Whew, okay. So this spirit that reportedly hanged himself and killed himself has also been reported being seen walking around the first floor in the form of a shadow figure. So let's see if we can talk to him tonight, maybe even get some more information. I actually thought I just saw a shadow figure. I'm not even joking. Hello? Is the man who hanged himself down here with me? Can you make a noise? Okay, all right, I hope to talk to you later. Okay, now, the second floor. On the second floor, people have reported seeing the apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress walk up the staircase on the second floor and vanish before their eyes. So they will see her walk up the steps in her flowy dress in that big of detail that you, they know what she's wearing. And once they see her, she just dissipates. She's gone. There's also reports of the spirit of a woman who was sexually assaulted and people have seen the woman huddled in a ball and crying on one of the beds on the second floor. I, oh, that abs, oh my God, that just breaks my heart. That genuinely just breaks my heart. And if I do talk to her tonight, if I hear her crying or if I come in contact with her, I hope she knows that I'm a safe place, like a safe space for her and that she can confide in feeling comfortable and being safe with me here. Oh my gosh. The most profound and most notorious haunting in this manner is that of a malevolent entity that goes by the name the Joker. This entity is known for harming people in ways like grabbing them, choking them, scratching them, and causing massive anxiety attacks. This entity seems to reside mostly in the basement and is reportedly eight foot tall or taller. It will throw things, push things, slam things, and do everything in its power to scare the living hell out of you. On the show Ghost Adventures, while doing an EVP session solo in the basement, Billy actually captured a cup being thrown against something while he was alone down there. So that just proves the theory or the reported hauntings of the Joker of him being down there and throwing things to try and scare you. But I also talked to the owner today when she let me in and she was talking to me a little bit about the Joker because she was just warning me to be safe. He will physically harm you. He will physically move you. And his entire intimidation display is to just make you scared and make sure you know that he's the man around here. Like, he runs the place, basically. And she described it as not being evil or malevolent. And then I've read other reports of it being malevolent and evil. So I guess one of the main questions why I'm here and what I'm going to do tonight to try to figure this out is what is the Joker entity? Why is it trying to harm people? What is its goal? and truly just what kind of hauntings are going on in this building. And I picked day one of Mayhem in the Midwest. I picked the perfect location to do my very first solo in a building where it is just me. I drove all the way to Iowa, which is seven and a half hours away. I am in the middle of the Iowa fields in Edinburgh Manor, completely alone, guys, completely alone. So. After learning a little bit about this, getting the nerves a little bit built up, I'm super excited. I am so ready to get into investigating this building. What we're gonna do is we are just going to start on the second floor, work our way down to the first, work our way down to the basement, and then we are going to do something at the end of the video that is going to be brand new to my channel called Lights Out, where basically I am going to grab the night vision camera and that is going to be the only POV that we're going to be listening to or watching and we're going to do the entire building just go top to bottom again with night vision and see if that sparks up any new activity that we don't get while we have this camera and the lights and different camera angles and stuff this is also a perfect time 
If you aren't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you go follow on TikTok. We are nearing 75,000 followers on TikTok as this video is being recorded. And we're nearing 10,000 subs on YouTube, guys. So please drop a subscription. It is per completely free. And yeah, let's hit 10,000 soon, guys. I love you all. Let's see you in a second. All right, guys, we are now on the second floor. This is where the reported hauntings of Susie, Suzanne, the kid, she loves to run around, play with different toys. So I brought her some cat balls that we're gonna try up today. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna put the music box down this way. I'm gonna put it right here. Put the rim pod right here in front of the steps. I want to start up here on the second floor by kind of introducing myself, okay? My name is Clayton, Clayton Bynum. I am here to hang out with you all all night, get to know who you are, get your story, become friends with you. It is completely up to you how you want to interact with me, but I just wanted to welcome myself. I wanted to stand here and tell you my name just so we can build a more personal connection. And yeah, I'm going to give you all a little bit of time now to com start communicating with me, build up any energy um, that you need to really communicate with me and become friends with me, okay? I am here to cause no harm, and I want to start off this investigation of me being here all by myself, of truly focusing on building different connections with each of you in the way that you would like to. Okay? So what I want you to do first, I want you to focus as much energy as you can, as much energy as you can on remembering what your voice sounds like, what your voice sounded like when you were alive and you were talking to people while in this building. I want you to focus on trying to remember how it felt to be able to touch somebody else's skin or give them a hug or even just touch the walls in this manner. I want you to focus all of the energy on what it used to be, what it used to be like being alive in this building, and really put yourself in that state of mind, and then focus all your energy projecting anything out that you can to be able to speak to me using your voice, using your arms to knock on things, standing in front of my equipment and making my equipment go off, whatever you would like to do. Okay, so I really just want you to focus as hard as you can on remembering being in this building when you were alive. I have a music box at the end of this hallway where if you stand in front of it, it will light up and jingle just like that. So that's one way of communicating that I brought up here for you. And then this device right here is called a REM pod. What the hell was that? Are you screaming? Do you need help? That was like screaming or crying. Hey, whoever was just up here crying or screaming or whatever I just heard trying to talk to me, thank you. I brought a device for you, okay? This has 10,000 words that if you just use your energy to come up and select a word through this device, you can pick out that singular word. And I want you to know, I will never refer to you as inmates. You are people, you are residents of this manor, and I consider you all my friends as long as you want to communicate with me. Can you give me a sign? Any sort of sign that lets me know that I'm not alone in this building? You want me to sit down? Is there anybody down this way? Can you knock on something? Let me know where you're at. I'll come to you. Here's the infamous Red Room. If you have watched Destination Fear when they came here, um, they were split up. Some of them went to the Blue Room that's down that way, all the way at the other end. And then there is the 
red room that I'm in now, they are known to be kind of sort of connected in a weird paranormal way or supernatural way. But what Destination Fear caught was basically two were in here, two were in the blue room. And in each room, the temperature was complete polar opposites and time felt different in each room. So I don't know what that could be. I don't know what that could mean. I truly have no idea. Hey, Susie, are you here tonight, sweetheart? It's really hard to differentiate between the, the wind and actual voices. Because there was one that sounded very, very distinctly like somebody was either crying, singing, or like yelling. I don't really know. But I'm just letting you know, PS device has said nothing yet. Here, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit. I'm going to sit for a few minutes. I'm going to sit and let's see if we can get any noises or any residual energy. Cat. Cat. Soon. Soon? Are you telling me you're going to talk to me soon? Sit. Oh my god, sit! I just sat! Yeah, I just sat down! Blow. Sit, blow? Whoa. What? I mean, the wind is blowing really, really hard outside. Is there something evil or mean in the basement of this building? If the answer is yes, make any of my devices go off, or make a noise, or say yes through this device. What was that? That came from downstairs. If that was you, walk up these stairs. That was super weird. What the hell was that? Make that noise one more time if this is something in the building. Some noises are happening all around me now. That was right when I started asking about the Joker. Is the Joker a real entity in the basement? All right, here's the blue room, guys. I have not had good feelings about this room at all. It just said get demon! Mop then covered demon. It just said demon. Is the Joker a demon? Is the entity in the basement of this building a demon? Is the woman idle? Is the woman who was sexually harmed, is she up here with me tonight? Oh my god! Probably! Oh my god! Okay. If she's up here with me, I want you to know I am. my heart goes out to you. My heart breaks for you and whatever you had to endure. But just know that you are safe with me. I send out as much love and positivity as I can to you. And I am so sorry as to what happened to you. I am so sorry you didn't deserve anything like that. And I hope that you can get comfortable enough to speaking to me tonight. I really, really do. Especially if you are here tonight, like the, whoever I'm talking to just said. I really hope so. I just heard footsteps in there. Hello? Susie, is this you? It's the first equipment activity we've had tonight. Healer. Healer. Again? Healer again. Are, are you the healer? 29 years. 29 years and music box is still going off. Okay, hang on. When I say who you are, light up the music box. If you understand how to do that. Light, okay, perfect. Okay, step away. Hang on, hang on. Mini. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hi. It just said hi. Hi, hello. Hi, it's so good to finally talk to somebody. Yeah. Haste again. Is this Susie? Oh my god. 
Susie, if that's you, make it light up again. <gasps> oh my God. Hi, Susie. Hi. Practice. Are you practicing with the music box? Is that what you're doing? This is nuts, bro. Susie, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Back away. And if it's a yes, make that light up, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand the game me and you were playing? Okay, okay, step away. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, Susie, hang on. Is there something mean and evil? Hang on, hang on. In the basement. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm asking another question. Hang on, Susie. Hang on. Abyss. I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the PS device off just for a little bit, guys. Turn the PS device off. Hey Joker! If you're up and about tonight, I'm on the steps. Can you make a noise for me? Make a noise for me, Joker. Show me that you're gonna talk to me tonight. Okay, hey guys. I'm gonna get out an acrometer. Okay, airplane mode is on. Look at that, it's right there, boom. Now basically, necrometer is just like how the PS device is. Necrometer is an app that spirits can use their energy and pick out words to communicate to me, okay? So I'm gonna get that out, I'm gonna run that with airplane mode on so nothing is interfering with that. Susie, I brought you another device. That you can use to talk to me. All right, and then it speaks out. The try it. Okay. Human. Try it, human. Yes, I am human. Try it. Is that like a, a threat or something? Like, try it. I'll sit in here for a sec. Let's sit in here for a sec. Probably. What did I, I don't know what that, I don't know what that says, or what that means. Which? Risk? If it's a risk of me being in this building by myself, make one of my devices go off. There's some by the stairs, there's one on the couch, and there's one in here in this room with me. Right there, the red light, it's right by the bed. That all you have to do is get close to it and make it light up. Okay. Many spirits. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of a lot of spirits here. Jeremy? Jeremy, are you here? The number two, I don't know. The number two. Okay, we are on floor two. Every door has a number on it. Number two, like just showing you, 218 right there. 201, 200, follow. Yeah, tell me what room to go to. I'll follow you there. Finish off the number two something something. What are the other two digits? Two something something. Tell me the other two numbers. Two what what. And I will go there. This is getting intelligent. I really do appreciate it. Tell me what room number to go to. Waiting in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm out in the hallway as well. I just don't know which way to go. Missing. Stairs? Missing stairs. Okay, wait a second. I know there's a staircase I can't use. Look, there's a lot of wind that's making a lot of sound contamination. Can you please knock or scream as loud as you can where you're at and I will follow you. I suggest you leave. Well, I'm... Sharon? Sharon? I have a friend named Sharon. Sharon Faye. What do you know about Sharon? 
Oh, other world. Okay, not my friend. It just said other world. Who is Sharon? Look, I'm very sorry to tell you, and I hope you don't get mad, but I'm going to be here basically all night. I'll probably be here for another seven or eight hours. So I hope that's okay. If you don't want to talk to me, I get it. Local. I mean, I'm staying in a local place, but I'm not personally local to this area. What the fuck was that? Hello? 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 Make that noise again. Oh my god. What the hell was that? I gotta go see what that was. Dude. Holy shit. Bro. Oh my god, you're on camera. I'm filming. That's the first time the REM pod has gone off, okay? Uh huh. I just heard the scariest fucking sound of my life. Something on the chronometer said, I suggest you leave. And then Tanner, I'm not even kidding, bro. It sounded like a demon waking up from when it's asleep. Like, like screeching and like then growling at the end. What? And look, REM pod is just going nuts. No, it was audible. My phone was silent, and then it j I just heard it downstairs, bro. Ugh. Yeah. If that was it, hang on. Because it said right. demon earlier. The PS device said demon when I was talking about the Joker. Yep. All right, bro. I just had to call you and tell you that, bro. I don't know what the hell that sound was, but that was, that was not human. I'm not lying to you. That was something straight from hell, bro. Yeah, purple! It's going to purple! Oh, wow. Yeah, alright, dude, I'll call, I'll call you later. Alright, see ya. Okay, yeah, let's go. I'm going down to the first floor. I'm going down to the first floor, bro. I gotta go see, I gotta go see if I can hear that again, if whatever it was is down there. We're heading downstairs now to the first floor to follow whatever noise I just heard. Okay, let's do something. Use this device in my hand to talk to me. Use this to talk to me. I heard. Investigate, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Smudge the area? Is there something bad here that I need to get out of here? Oh, it's starting to get like a really weird vibe, bro. It's starting to get like a super weird vibe. Standing outside. So is the bad thing outside or are you standing outside because you're too scared to be in here? Video. Yeah, I got, I'm taking a video. I'm doing a video. Hey, Joker? One o'clock. Is something bad gonna happen at 1 a.m.? Make a noise right now where you want me to go. Basement! Oh my god, I just said, tell me where you want me to go. It just said basement. 
Basement at the door. Oh my god. Basement at the door. Right there? Show yourself and I'll come downstairs. I don't know what that just said. All right, I'm gonna give you this. Whoever's talking to me from the basement, come up and make that light up if you want me to go down there. Garage, I don't know, infrared. Oh my God, there's somebody at the basement. Something wants me to go downstairs. If you want me to go only night vision, make that light up, infrared. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Move north. I'll go downstairs. I'm about to head down there. Make that light up again if you want me to go downstairs. Holy shit. Holy shit. Traumatic? Traumatic. Was your past traumatic? I'm gonna put this at the top of these stairs. I'm gonna put that right there. One more time. If you want me to go in the basement, knock that over. And I will go down there. I will be here, died. Roll that ball down the steps and I'll go down there with only infrared. If you don't, I'm going down there with this light on. Ethereal. Ethereal. Other world again. I am hiding. Who's hiding? Am I talking to the Joker right now? Hang on, make that light up three times if I'm talking to the Joker. Oh my God, that just did it three times! Three times singly! Oh my God, I am talking to the Joker. Whatever the Joker is wants me to go downstairs with only IR. And it's saying it's hiding in the basement. And it told me to go down to the basement. Oh my God. Try it. It just said try it. Are you testing me? The owner told me today that she doesn't know what the Joker is. She doesn't think it's malevolent, but other people think it is. And it will really test you, try you, and do its best to absolutely scare the hell out of you. And I can really tell it's trying to get me to go in the basement and do just that. So guess what? I'm going to do something crazy. I'll be right back. What did you say? Use the phone. Benjamin? That is my dad's name, guys. Benjamin is my dad's name. I was trying to get personal to scare me. Hey, Joker, feel anger. Hey. I'm gonna go down there with a device that can map you and pick you up. It'll show a skeleton of you. Will you show yourself? If I go down there and just bring that, will you show yourself? Can you say Joker through my phone right now? You keep telling me to use my phone. They hear you. Who hears me? Oh, it just said three spirits. They? Who's the three? That's the question. Who would the three spirits be? I'm genuinely so confused. Suicidally? It just said Mort? Suicidally. I will stay. Something is really trying to threaten me. And it's just not working on me. I'm sorry. So for this portion of the video, First time going in the basement, I am going to be entirely POV of the GoPro. I'm gonna wave my thumb to the GoPro, and I'm going to go down and sweep the entire basement. Disagree, I am going to go down and do a sweep of the entire basement with the XLS camera, which is this device right here. It's, it has a, uh, like a camera built into it, IR camera, that will map in figures that our eyes cannot see in like a skeletal mapping, 3D mapping format. So. I'm going to clip to the GoPro footage P 
POV right now. And yeah, that's it. Hello? Oh shit. All right guys. We are complete. What? Just say crime, crime. All right, I'm gonna take this down here. We're gonna set this up. You can go. Oh, I'm going no matter what. Show yourself at the bottom of these steps. Show yourself. Warren. Let's say eight. Hang on, I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit. So it'll just be us and the sounds down here. And let's go see if we can map in the Joker. If the Joker will show himself to us. Will you do that, Joker? So guys, I just had to take a breather a little bit. It got very, very intense in the basement. Um, I didn't say it on camera, but my head was getting really, really dizzy. Like there was a point before I got up here, I got in the gear room, turned the camera off, and I, I about passed out. I'm not even kidding. Um, so yeah, Cindy was right, the owner was right. The basement is no joke. The Joker, he will do his best to intimidate you and scare you. And he hasn't scared me, he hasn't intimidated me really. Because guess what? Now it's time for lights out, which means the remainder of this video is going to be purely night vision of me alone going through each floor of the building and doing a little bit more investigating. I'm going to pull out the spirit box. We're going to do an open out loud spirit box session. I'm going to put all of my devices, music box, rim pod all around everywhere. And yeah, we'll end off in the basement trying to contact the Joker because in my phone on necrometer, it came through and said infrared basement. So whatever's down there wants me to go down there with no lights, and I am going to do just that. So, yeah, guys, cut to the night vision POV. Boom. What up, guys? What's up? And, yeah, I will see you all upstairs on the second floor in night vision, baby. Let's go! Before we leave the gear room, I'm going to put on necrometer. I'm gonna turn that on, airplane mode is on guys. So I can get no notifications, there's gonna be no notification phone interference on necrometer. And let's see if we can, it just said eyes. Okay guys, I'm gonna grab the spirit box. I got this connected to an ANC. It just said get us out. So I'm telling you, I guarantee you guys, and I don't know, oh God, can't do that. Gotta be a little bit further. I don't know if this is true. Get us out, I am peaceful. I guarantee you there are spirits here that need help from whatever is in the basement and I'm gonna go, that is my mission now. I am going to do my best to confront that evil entity and I am going to help these spirits out. That is what I'm gonna do. If you're near me and you're a peaceful spirit, can you knock back on this? I'll help you. 1930s. This place was open in the 30s. Can you knock back? Let me know that you're peaceful. I'm gonna help you get out. Coming back up. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. What is this saying? Stalker traumatic. Stalker traumatic. Traumatic again, dude. Damn. I'm gonna FaceTime. I'm gonna FaceTime Noah from Spirit Stalkers, guys. Hang on. All right, nobody's answering. That's phenomenal. Damn, nobody's answering. That's fantastic. I'll call my brother. Yo. Hello. Hey. 
Will. Can't hear you, buddy. Can you hear me? This is so weird. I FaceTime. Can't hear you, buddy. Can you hear me? Your internet's fucking dog shit, brother. Dude, it was working perfect earlier. It's not working anymore. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, I'm trying to call everybody because I'm asking people to say a protection prayer for me because it's getting bad. My left ear now is burning. My left ear is burning. Like, I was just sitting there waiting for FaceTime. My left ear is burning. Ow. I just want somebody to say a protection prayer for me that's not here because the energy is getting weird and bad. And I don't like it. All right, guys. This is what everybody's been waiting for, including myself. It is time to go completely night vision in Edinburgh Manor, guys. Let's see if we can come in contact with whoever it was up here. Whew. Here we go. Night vision is on, light is on, flashlight is off. Totally different vibe, bro. All right, I got all the lights off. Something was telling me to keep my lights off. Can you make one of my devices go off? Let me know if you're up here talking to me. What is that light? Is that just outside? It is so bad outside, guys. That wind is atrocious. Hi, Susie. You know what, guys? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Lights out. This lights out section of this video is going to be in the basement. Completely in the basement. I feel like whatever's there is very oppressive. It wants me down there. So I'm going to the basement. I am going to spend the entirety of my lights out in the basement. I don't feel anything else in the building. Something is calling me to go in the basement. And I don't know if I should answer that calling or what. Because something's just not right, man. Something is just not right. Joker, are you still there on the steps? Come up and make that music box go off again if you want me to go down there with only night vision. I have it in my hand right now. Wow. Holy shit. Joker, do you want me to go down there so you can hurt me? Do you want to talk to me? You want to try to scare me down there? Wow, it's just leaving it open-ended. For some reason, I need Jake to I, I need Jake to say a protection prayer. I really do. What was that? I just heard like breathing in my ear, dude. Where's Alexa? I'm gonna call Alexa. His girlfriend. Guys, I'm calling Alexa. Jake's girlfriend, because he's probably with her. Hello. Alexa. What's up? Are you with Jake? I, I need Jake to say a protection prayer for me. To what? To say a protection prayer for me. Like right now? Yeah, whenever he can, because it's it's getting bad. It's getting bad here at Edinburgh, and I'm doing my lights out now where it's only night vision, and I'm talking to the potential demonic entity that resides in the basement. It wants me to go down there really, really bad. And my ears started burning. Something just whispered in my ear. And yeah, it's getting bad. Hello? Jake. Hello? Jake. You good, bro? Dude, it's getting bad. Please say a protection prayer for me, bro. Right now. Holy shit. Are you good? Bro, look, Edinburgh has been absolutely amazing. I talked to Susie, the little girl, up on the second floor. And then, I, Jake, I'm not even kidding. I heard the most demonic 
screech growl that I've ever heard in my entire life. Okay? And it's not known if this if this joker in the basement is a demon, okay? But my PS device said demon. Necrometer kept saying basement and then infrared. It wanted me to go in the, and then I put my music box on the stairs and I said, okay, Joker, come up on the steps, make the music box go off. And it just went music box just went off, bro. When I just said Joker. Do you hear it? Dude, what? I hear it, bro. Bro, for Are some reason, out? I have not felt this all day, but I actually feel in danger to walk down those steps. Like I'm gonna go down there, but I I, I call Maddie, she's gonna say one. And for some reason, bro, I have a very big pull to go down there, like without even thinking about it. And something came through in my mind and just said, call Jake, have him say a prayer, bro. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. Me, me Noah, everyone's been like talking all day. I was sleeping earlier. No, bro, you're good. I you're, I'm, 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 away, so my mom pounded on the door. We like talk. No, you're fine, bro. I did not mean to spam you. I did not mean to spam you, but bro, no, dude, it's, it's getting really, and my ears started burning when I just started my lights out section. Like it's to the point where I just told the camera, Lights out for now for this entire video is going to be in the basement. Like, I'm not going to go throughout the entire building. I'm literally going to stay in the basement. Dude, holy hell. And then Necrometer came through. Yeah, dude, dude, I'll, I'll pray for you, dude. Dude, Necrometer just came through before I turned night vision on. It said, get us out. I am peaceful. And then I said, if there is a demonic entity here, that you're scared of, make something go, I can't remember when that was, but the device went off, bro. So this Joker is oppressing all the other spirits, bro. The spirits are terrified of it. Yeah, I believe it, dude. I believe it. I mean, that's the, that's the vibe. Yeah, I, I believe it. This is the first time in this building tonight that I actually feel a little bit of intimidation, bro. And the owner told me today that this thing is going to try to intimidate you. So it's, it's starting to work, but I'm going down there, bro. Yeah, just be careful, dude. Just don't try not to show fear. Yeah. Like, damn, I would not want to be in your shoes, actually. No, bro, it's it's nuts. This place is insane. All right, dude, I will, dude. Good, dude, good freaking luck, man. Appreciate it, man. I hope everything's good with you all and Noah. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yep. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. All right, dude. Yep. Bye, man. Bye. All right, guys. Here we go. Got the spirit box hooked up to the speaker, so it's going to be super loud. So I'm just going to say, headphone users, beware, because it's going to get loud. Let's do one right here on the steps. That just went off. Oh, dude. I, I feel sick to my stomach. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Who's in the basement? Tell me your name. Who are you? Here's my here's my thoughts right now. Here's my thoughts with the spirit box. This thing has been very This thing has been very cautious of talking or making itself known the only thing it's been using is the spirit box i don't think it wants me to know its identity so i don't think it's going to speak so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the the spirit box back in here i'm going to put it in the gear room so i don't leave it again and i'm just going to take the music box down that's it i'm going to take music box and we'll do some evp if the wind isn't contaminating the sound enough or too much so that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys. Whew. Lights out in the basement. Joker! Where are you at? I'm gonna put the music box facing this room right here. Let that calibrate. All right, that's in that room, facing that room. 
I'm gonna sit right here. Is that a bug? No. All right, Joker. I'm down in the basement. With only night vision, just like you said. Are you gonna talk to me? Guys, what's really weird, what's really weird is you all heard how I was feeling at the top of the steps. I came down here, I'm good. Like I'm chilling. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know if it wants me to feel that way. I don't know. But just know this place, Edinburgh Manor, is no joke. This place is nuts. Joker, make a noise where you're at and I'll go over there. Are you hurting the other spirits here? Are you upsetting them? Throw something for me. I'm down here completely alone. Joker, you've been described as like an eight foot or taller shadow figure. Are you going to show yourself to me? Okay, I feel like I'm not going to get anything in this hallway. So I'm going to grab the music box. Or actually, I'm going to keep it there. I'm just going to come to this back room. I'm just going to come back here. That's me. That's me. That's me. All right. I'm going to stay over on this side so I'm not contaminating the music box. Joker, do you remember Billy? From Ghost Adventures? He came here down here before. And you threw something. Can you throw something for me? Guys, I'm going to get out an acrometer again. And I'm just going to show you all, I am turning airplane mode on. So there's no contamination. Let's get an acrometer out. Let's see if the Joker or any other spirits in this building want to talk to me through this. Because they've been loving this so far. Joker, speak through this device in my hand. Wood. Forest wood. Famous. Are you saying you're the famous ghost here? Everybody knows about you. Are you proud of that? I'm just going to put that in my pocket and let it run. Okay, I am... Hell, my camera just stopped recording. My camera actually just stopped recording. And it just said camera! It said camera when my light went off! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Did you just turn my camera off? Make a noise if you did. Alright, me personally... I really, really have a calling to go to that other end of the basement right there. I don't know why. It was super creepy earlier. I'll see what that says when I get down at the other end. I'll see what that says. Yeah, guys, here's the basement. It looks like there, there were like body holders down here. I don't really, I don't know where they're at. That's talking again. See, I'm walking down here and we're getting more and more responses. There it is. There it is. Looks like body coolers or something. No, never mind. It's just like an industrial freezer. 
All right, I'm in the big room now. What did that just say? It said, Ch did it just say chaser? It just, it said chaser marked hold up, turn left. Chaser marked hold up, turn left. Are you telling me where to go? It just called me chaser and it marked me. Hold up, turn left. I got it. I think that said that when I was like right here. So I guess I'll go into the kitchen, I guess. I'm gonna put the music box just right there. I'm gonna put it right there. Traumatic again. I honestly, this might be where Billy got the thing thrown on Ghost Adventures. I can't remember. This might be it. All right, you told me to turn here. You gonna show yourself to me? You gonna do something? You gonna make a noise? Throw a cup, just like you did with Billy. What'd that just say? Stop talking. No. Unless you make a loud noise, I am not going to stop talking. Stop talking. Nope. So, okay. So you're denying anything I say, and I'm denying anything you say. We need to come up with some sort of mutual respect. Because me personally, I'm not going to do anything that you say unless you actually do some things that I say too. Okay? I want to talk to you. I want to see what you're made of, what you're capable of. Jeremy again. Come on. What? Insert. I don't even know what that means. All right, I'm going to keep walking and see if this says anything or tells me where to go. One more time. Tell me where to go. I don't know what that just said. I'm going to put this facing that way. Medication. Agree. Agree. Move around. I am moving around. I'm in the big room now. I, I assume this is cafeteria, maybe? A general eating area? Do you want me to find you? Is that what you're trying to play at? If you're back in these areas where I'm shining my flashlight, make this music box go off and I'll go back there. If that's where you're hiding, make that music box go off and I'll go back there. Okay guys, I just got done doing my lights out section and I was going to do the entire building, but for some reason, something was calling me. I, I just had this calling to spend all of it in the basement and I did. And I was starting to feel physically sick. The energy was really getting in my head that I had to call people and have them do a protection prayer for me. And so I went downstairs, stayed down there for about an hour and Nothing really happened in the basement. Had some loud bangs. The necrometer was kind of insane. Day one of mayhem in the Midwest here at Edinburgh Manor was absolutely amazing. This place is unreal. 650 likes on this YouTube video, and I will return to Edinburgh solo or with a special guest, whichever one you want me to do, and that video will be in complete night vision. There will be none of this camera, no wide angle of this kind of light. It will be completely night vision, guys. So if we hit that light goal, thank you so much. That'll be amazing. And yeah, guys, this is only day one of mayhem in the Midwest, guys. Comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. What floor was your favorite? 
Make sure you click the link in my description for all of my platforms. Go follow me on there. Follow me on TikTok. At the time I'm filming this, we are nearing 75,000 followers on TikTok. That's insane and we are getting so close to 10K on YouTube. So I appreciate y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed my very first solo at a major location. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a unique experience and I wish the wind wasn't as horrible as it is right now, but shit happens, bro. Shit happens. But yeah, catch you all next week at whatever location's next in Mayhem in the Midwest. I love you guys. Stay safe. God bless. And peace.